Hey everyone, it is Mario Thomas here and in this video I want to share with you how I got back almost 10 hours of productive focus time per week using just a couple of simple strategies that uh, really changed my life. I think I'm more productive than ever and the reason for that was that I started looking into this stuff, I started really seeing what works for me and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I want you to kick ass at life. I know you guys have a lot of goals in your fitness, in your business, in your relationships. You really want to crush it. So this is what I found helpful. I want to share that with you. So let's dive into that. Now, uh, real quick, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to subscribe. If you are subscribed already, make sure to hit that bell icon there to get notified for new videos, new cool content coming your way. And now let's dive into the good stuff. So first thing is first. The big myth about productivity is that productivity is about doing more. It's about having more apps. It's about having more strategies. It's about having more systems. It's always about more and more and more. And that's kind of what they want you to believe. Buy my productivity course because I'm going to teach you blah, blah, blah. Get my productivity app installed on your phone, on your Mac, on your PC. And it's all just a bunch of nonsense. So that's what I'm going to say first is that when I realized that being focused is more about eliminating distractions and actually doing less, that's when my focus really started skyrocketing because I was in this belief that I always needed this fancy app, you know, I needed this uh, Chrome extension, I needed this and that. And really what I needed is to start eliminating stuff because then when I started eliminating stuff, I became more focused naturally. So the focus just came out. And that's the really, really awesome thing that about this is that you're going to free time just by not doing things. And it's actually much easier to figure out what you shouldn't do than it is to figure out what you should do. So that's the first thing. Now, how I discovered this, and this is the second big thing that I wanna share with you in this video, I did something I like to call the time audit. And the time audit is a very, very simple strategy. The way it works is you take your entire week, so you basically create a spreadsheet, and I've already created one, by the way, for you guys, so you can check it out in the description below. It's a time audit spreadsheet. So what you do is for every hour throughout seven days, you write down exactly what you did for that hour. And you did this for all your waking hours for one week. And then by the end of that week, you're gonna know exactly where your time went. You're gonna know exactly what things took away the time that you need for your most and biggest priorities in life. And that's what really, for me personally, made a lot of difference. Because it was kind of confronting this Instant gratification version of myself because I spent so much time I realized on social media on watching science fiction videos uh, uh, with all like watching like Elon Musk interviews and like Charlie Munger and whatever but all respect to those guys I wasn't doing what I needed to do because I would spend so much time on on that but it was really more like productive procrastination and I wasn't getting stuff done that I really needed to get done. And of course, there's a couple of TV shows that slide in, there's some social media there, there's like random chats and things that you don't really need to succeed. And that's the kind of stuff I discovered in my time audit and then I could start eliminating or even positioning those things in different parts of the day so then I could be more productive because productivity and focus take momentum. And sometimes it can take you two, three hours to get in the zone, in the flow. And if you're distracted during that kind of like pre-flow state, you're gonna be in trouble because you're never gonna reach that peak flow what you need to crush it, to create work, to be very productive, to really stay focused for longer periods of time. You need to start eliminating these things and this is a really, really good way to discover using this time audit. So as I said, there's a Google Sheet link in the description below, check it out, open it up, copy it, use it for a week and um, actually tell me in the comments if you're going to do the time audit because the time audit takes balls to do. The time audit is a very, very honest, real type of exercise that you implement because it takes courage to kind of face what you've been doing, what you've been wasting time, quote unquote. So let me know in the comments, uh, comment time audit if you're gonna do it. So let me know in the comments below who is committed to doing this audit. Now the third thing is once you've done the time audit, one simple way to kind of organize yourself, and I really use a couple of rules to organize myself throughout the day. So number one is never go to bed without a plan for the next day. Very simple, but it's actually simple, but it's not very easy to do because you really need to think the night before, you need to take 15 minutes to really think, okay, what am I going to do the next day? And what I like to identify is at least about two to three things that 
I find to be the most critical for me to work on and then I order them which ones are the most priority are going to be done first and then it, as I go with those three things then I know the rest is going to kind of come throughout the day. But I want to identify at least three things with one thing being the most important one before I go to bed. So I know what to do next day when I wake up. And I don't use any fancy apps again. I'm not a big fan of complicating things. So I use Google Calendar and I just simply time block. I take like four hours early in the day and I'm dedicated to this one thing. So it might be something like for developing programs for clients. So that might be the first four hours in a day just doing that. And then the next thing, another two hours and maybe another two hours for something else. And if I just get these three things done, I know it was a really, really successful day. And, uh, but just by having that, it kind of naturally, uh, you realize how little space there is in the day. By using Google Calendar, you kind of see, well, wow, like I'm already running out of time and you naturally eliminate a lot of distractions. You stop doing a lot of the things that would take time away. So use a Google Calendar strategy and the night before, take 15 minutes before you end your work day, before you go to bed about an hour or two, sit down, plan it, and you will see massive results if you implement these two things that I just mentioned, the time audit and the Google Calendar because they kind of go hand in hand. They're gonna absolutely change your life, but you must do them, of course, because if you don't do them, none of this stuff works, okay? So it is simple, but it is not easy to do. And that's where people get caught up into it. It sounds simple, so they're like, hmm, it's too simple to work. Well, this stuff really does work. Changed my life, I'm sure it's gonna change your life, and you don't need any, again, systems, fancy stuff, just do this, and you're gonna see massive results. Now, one last thing here, uh, again, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to uh, get notified as well, hit the bell icon to get more content like this in the future and uh, let me know in the, guy, uh, in the comments what you guys think about this. Hit like if you like the video, hit dislike if you don't like the video, if you don't find this helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.